Hello, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and today we're going to be installing a CPU. So before we start the video, we are going to I'm going to be telling you about our new series. Basically, we're going to go through each individual little tiny step of installing every little piece of your components into your computer. We already made a video on it, uh, building a PC, uh, a sort of medium easy step guide. You can click that here and you'll be able to see it uh, for yourself. We did it in three parts and it's fairly easy to follow. But we thought for those of you who want to know how to change or maybe want a simpler uh, guide, we thought we'd make this brand new one instead. We're going to be covering things like how to install your CPU, how to install coolers, every single different types of coolers from water coolers like this bad boy to stock Intel coolers like this, uh, hard drives and how to set it up on your PC so that even a lemon like me can do it. So without getting further ado, I'm going to introduce Nicola who's going to be taking every single part of this series from now on, maybe other than the intro, and he is going to be guiding us through exactly what is to do. And if you doubt his skills, you can watch this video here where he builds a computer in less than nine minutes flat, and it works. It's incredible. For today's example, we have an Asus motherboard at Z170 chipset. We have an i5 Intel CPU. Okay, so let's take some time to look at the motherboard layout here is where the CPU is going to be installed. There are four holes here, one, two, three, and four. This is where you're gonna anchor your cooler, whatever it is, stock cooler, aftermarket cooler, or a liquid cooling. Another thing that we would like to locate is the, uh, where the CPU fan is going to be connected. You can see that there are different connectors here. In this case, the CPU fan will be connected to this connector, as it says on this label here, CPU fan. In this specific motherboard, you have a second connector and it says CPU OPT, which means optional. This is, is, this is used if your cooler has two fans or maybe a pump, depends. We're gonna explain everything later. So first step to take is pull this, and the cup will be lifted. At this point, we grab the CPU, and as you can see, there are two guides here. One and two. On the motherboard, you have the same exact guides. One is here, and one is here. This will help us to install the CPU correctly. So, by matching the two guides, from above, we're gonna just place the CPU exactly in the middle of the socket. You don't need to do anything else. Be very gentle. The pin that you were seeing underneath the CPU, where the socket is, are very, very fragile. So, don't push the CPU, don't install it like this, just slowly, slowly place it on the pins. Once you've done that, just grab this bit, make sure the two guides are going inside this thing, push this one down and lock it back in. You have noticed that while I was doing this, the cap protection came out. We don't need this, you can chuck it in the bin. Okay, now our CPU is installed. Thank you very much guys for watching. This one is particularly short, but the next one is a lot more in depth and it's about how we install coolers once we have added in our brand new CPU. We kind of did both of them together and then I thought we're gonna split them in half because each individual segment deserves its own section. So if you enjoyed the video, then make sure you leave a like as it helps us out greatly. If you wanna see this thing benchmarked, then leave a like as well. And uh, let us know in the comment section below what we can do differently. We'll see you guys next time for the coolers. Bye-bye. So yeah, for all of those who didn't know or noticed, like it might seem a little bit janky at the beginning, it's because we actually recorded them both at the same time. We recorded the, the CPU and the um, 
and the water cooling, um, air cooling uh, bits for the CPU uh, all at the same time. And then I thought, right, we need to split this up even more basically, like make it super basic for you guys because we want to know that um, our, the best of our ability has been done for each individual component of the PC, which helps us out greatly, obviously, and uh, helps you out more importantly. So that's what we've done there. So anyway, click up there on a video. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Let's have a think. Um, maybe the Intel um, i7 6700K versus the new set of Broadwell E super chip. I d d click up there. It tells you up there. I'm getting a bagel.